Now you have this white box and stuff, this pretty much shows that these two are connected, so there will be actually some kind of pavement here. To figure out what your pavement is, by default I hope this shows up, it has your height view and F section properties or properties. If it does not have that, this is where you go for your height view. So view, height view, it'll show your elevation changes, I'll get more of that later. I think it has to have the X, F section properties. I'm not sure, it's always had that for me, I think. Anyways, this is how you change what kind of your surface is. So right now, by default, usually it goes as asphalt, racing surface. But you can change it from asphalt, concrete, dirt, grass, gravel, accessible, invisible, paint, rumble strips, sand, train tracks, and water. I haven't really experimented with a lot of things. For my pavement tracks, I go with asphalt, concrete, and paint are... And then for my dirt tracks, I use dirt and grass. Um, I don't think there's any difference between asphalt and concrete. As far as grip level changes and stuff, dirt and grass have a lot less grip than them. But dirt, I find, has less front grip. So you'll find your car won't turn as well in the grass and stuff, rather than just looping out and spinning and stuff. Unless you're already sideways, in which case there is no hope for you. Grass, it's a lot more, you know, if you hit the throttle, you're going to loop the ramp and stuff. It's a lot more loose. This is why I use my dirt tracks more for it. It's dirt rather than grass. Or, uh, like, the preferred line is dirt, because you'll get a little bit more sideways than grass. So I usually have dirt high side, grass low side that way. And real dirt tracks. You kind of slide up in front of the inside, trying to make the sharp corners from the outside. You can kind of be more loose and stuff. Um, gravel, pretty much is, it's a gravel trap. You know, when you hit it, your car is going to start to slow down. You might get stuck in it. I've never tried accessible or visible paint. It's like less grip version of asphalt and concrete. Rumble strips are rumble strips. I don't know much experimenting. Sand similar to grass. I've never tried train tracks. I've never tried a lot of them. So. That's what all that stuff is. So we're going to stick with asphalt. I'm done with blabbering on that. And then from there you can use bracing surface, which we'll choose. You can choose apron, apron near the pits, pit road, pit road, or pit road, pit stalls, and bracing surface, which is what we're going to choose. Now from here, this is all the MIPS that is in that folder, that unpacked folder. So it's a combination of all the stuff that was in our shared and sorry about that. Um, for some reason it decided to only record sandbox rather than entire screen, so I didn't get to see everything. So I have asphalt on this now. I'm just going to kind of show you how to do that. So here are your materials and your F sections. That's going through and everything. I can go into much more detail because I don't all that. And here is your MIP. All These are all the MIPs that are in your So I'm just going to choose the default asphalt, and then that says what it's going to look like. So now we have our basic track and everything, we actually have our asphalt. And now we're going to add walls, which is your W section. So F is your, uh, your material, your pavement stuff, your ground. Um, yeah, I guess F will be ground. Uh, w is your walls, X is your um, altitude and all that stuff. So next we're going to put our inside wall. Throw our inside wall right around here, I guess. And then throw our outside wall right here. Now walls kind of had me stumped for a while until I just started going around experimenting and stuff, and I figured it out. So, the materials, what your wall is going to be made out of. So, even though your wall may look like a wall, it may not be a wall. 
So yeah, I'm gonna go park and go whatever that is. I can't believe it. That's bad. <laughs> Anyways. So yeah. Those yeah, forest, hay bales, invisible, shrubs, tires, walls, um wired fence, so if you're making fences and wood. I just always use walls because that's all I usually use. And whereabouts on the track it's gonna be. Then you have your map. So if you want your wall to look like asphalt, you can make it look like asphalt if you want. But we're gonna look for wall maps. So I'm just gonna use the first one, which is wall. And now you'll see it looks like a wall. But they each have faces and stuff, so it's not gonna be all a wall. It's not gonna, like the entire wall is not gonna be a wall. It's gonna have different sections. So you have the top, which is what we have right now. So now if we go to the right, which is what it looks like on the right side, it's none. So all you can see is the top of the wall. There's nothing on the left and right side. So we want to change that. So we'll make the right side of the wall and the left side of the wall. It took me the longest time to figure that out. I know I'm kind of slow sometimes. So once again, left side is now a wall. And if you look at it, you will see you don't see a wall there. And that's because it's only the left side that has a wall, whereas here we have the top, which is that, which is what you see above as the wall. So the second we go over here, change it to the top, and we select the wall. Now we can see it, because we're looking at the track from above. Is it was the right side that we didn't do yet? Yes, so the right side and it's a wall. And there you go. You have a wall everywhere now. So now you know we kind of actually have a bit more of a realistic track here, even though it's just one section. The other thing I forgot to mention, this is all in meters, which I understand meters a lot more than what everyone else probably thinks knows, because I'm from Canada and pretty much the entire world goes on meters and stuff. Whereas the US, I think, is the only other country that I can really name off that uses feet and inches and all that stuff. But in the event you do use, you know, inches, feet, and yards, it does give you the option. So, right now the track's length is 393 inches. <laughs> centimeters and there's 100 centimeters in a meter so in the end the calculation comes up to 10 meters the US people would know kind of what their inches are and I'm not going to go into much more than that so now we have the basic kind of outline of the track we can start designing it kind of so next thing we want to do is we want to make an extra the next section so Let's make a straightaway as our next section. And I just add another 10 meters of section to it. But we want this one to be a little bit longer than 10 centimeters. And I do suggest using smaller kind of increments because you can get things a lot more pinpoint, but take a lot more time. And because I'm lazy, I'm not going to be using really small increments. And it's going to kind of go a bit longer on this. So we'll make this. It's going to become kind of a random track. I'm going to make this a mile in the end, but I'm just kind of going to get an idea of how much we want to have right now. So there we go. Our track's now 279 meters. For people who want to know how many feet that is, 658 feet. Give you an idea of how long it is so far. Okay, so we kind of have our straightaway now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of start it into the corner. Uh, it's going to be a short track right now, but I'll show you how to make it longer or shorter, whatever you want to do, once you kind of got the idea of what the shape and everything you want to be. So I'm going to make another straight, and you'll see why I'm going to do this in a second. So we got another straight. i make it a little bit shorter. So, because 
because I'm going to try to be lazy. I'm going to try and get this on 90 degrees. I can. I'm not probably really bad at doing this. It's probably not exactly. That looks pretty close. And another curve. Again, most of my tracks have much more detailed kind of fine tuning than this. Not as basic. That looks pretty straight to me. <laughs> you probably can tell I'm really rushing and stuff. I'm just gonna get it done. Actually, I find this easier to do doing it this way. Take it, go from the very beginning, go pre pen, and that pretty much sends it backwards. You work from the front to the back, if that makes sense. So, here, start and finish lines here, and we're working our way backwards now. And I always find it easier to kind of match things up if you go from backwards forward to get matched up in the corner. Straight. I'll make this one kind of short. Let's see, this is not going to work out right now. So I'm going to do this. Obviously, because I rushed this and stuff, it's not going to quite work out perfect. So it's not going to be too identical. Like, these corners are pretty much identical. This one, I think, will have a sharper turn 3 and then a wider turn 4. Kind of just figure out how to match it up. No, it should get it. I don't see it, you know. Normally, it likes to try to match itself up like this, but it's not appearing to want to do that. Like I said, this is part of the real frustrating parts when things don't want to work the way they normally do. That's not going to work. We will bring the curve to it. There we go. Okay, so for some reason I didn't want to attach the straight, but I want to attach the curves. So you see how it's kind of connected, but it's not. It's missing the part here. We can always go attach segment, attach the head, and it'll automatically make it fix itself and get to the right spot. Sometimes it will not attach the walls. It appears to have done it this time. Nice. Gives me a little less editing to do, but sometimes I'll have to like mm -hmm. zoom in like this, and you'll find that I'll just show you. Yeah, there you go. The final will be like this, and if you're zoomed out like this, you're like, okay, it's attached. Oh wait, no, it's not. And you'll be like, ah. Uh. So it'll be really hard to sometimes attach it. Sometimes it'll attach right away. Sometimes it won't. So you just kind of need to do that a bit. And then zoom in, you can make sure that it gets attached. Likewise, I'll show you over here because I unattached it over here. It looks attached, but you zoom in, it's not. And it's just a simple drag over. Well done. 